Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. It man quotes the legendary martial art. Ip Man, also known as Yip Man, was a Chinese martial artist, of Cantonese ethnicity, and a master teacher of Wing Chun. He was the third, of four children, and was raised by his wealthy parents, Ying Shui and Ai Pioi Dor. When Ip Man was 13 years old, he started learning Wing Chun, from Chan Washun. Because, of his Sifu's old age, Ai Pi had to learn much, of his techniques and skills, from his master's second eldest disciple, Ying Chengsa. In 1949, when the Chinese Communist Party came to power, he fled to Hong Kong, where he opened a Wing Chun school, becoming the first martial arts master to train students publicly. His most famous student, Bruce Lee, came to study with him in 1953. Lee remained a lifelong friend. Yip Man was married to Chung Wing Sing, and they had two sons. His sons have played a major role in continuing the Wing Chun legacy began by their father. He died on December 2, 1972, in his unit at 149 Tung Choi Street in Hong Kong, only seven months before the death of Lee. Yip Man was buried at Wahop Shek, Hong Kong. And here is a quote from Master Yip Man. Along with some quotes from films that have been played by Donnie Yen. Do not fight with the strength, absorb it and it flows, use it. Students from the same teacher will differ in their skills. Yong Chun and Wing Chun both stem from Shaolin, but if you were to believe that they are one and the same, then you will be far from the truth. The best thing is not to fight at all. Although martial arts involves armed forces, Chinese martial arts is Confucian in spirit. The virtue of martial arts is benevolence. This is something that the Japanese will never understand, for they learn martial arts only to become stronger and terrorize others. They are not worthy of learning our martial arts. I didn't come here today to prove which is better, Chinese or Western boxing. All people have different status in life. I don't believe that one person's integrity is worth more than the others. I hope that we can start to respect each other. Accomplishment uses diligence as a goal. The ideal in martial arts is humanitarianism. Take it easy. You're both young men. Injuries are inevitable in friendly fights. I'll visit your master and explain to him. May I know who your master is? People will grow old. No one is invincible forever in this world. Nobody is number one forever. It is difficult for a student to pick a good teacher, but it is more difficult for a teacher to pick a good student. There is no difference in who started to study first, the one who achieves accomplishment is first. Good Kung Fu does not depend on age or sex, but on how well you fight. At that time, most of the people who learned Kung Fu were rich people. These people could leave their jobs and live in the old temples in deep mountains for training. It is not the same as today when people can easily learn Kung Fu anywhere. No men are afraid of their wives, they're only men who respect their wives. We all have inner demons to fight, we call these demons, fear and hatred and anger. If you do not conquer them, then a life of 100 years is a tragedy. If you do, then a life of a single day 
can be a triumph. Greet what arrives, escort what leaves, and rush upon loss of contact. When I learned under Wakung, he was already 70. He was a bit weak, at that time. However, he still corrected my mistakes, with great patience. Furthermore, he also told his other students, to teach me. As a result, my techniques improved, at high speed. You know Captain Lee, we martial artists are energetic. Sometimes we might be a bit too loud, but that doesn't mean we're not civilized. We're civilized folks, please don't pull the gun. Cut me some slack. Wakung only admitted 16 students since opening his Kung Fu school. I was 11 years old when I became his student during his later years. Relax and calm your mind. Forget about yourself and follow your opponent's movement. This nickname does not represent my instructor's character. Other than, Wa the Money Changer, he had also a less graceful nickname. Ngao Chin Wa of Wa the Bowl. He was the head student of Dr. Liang Jan. The ideal in martial arts is humanitarianism. Achievement uses diligence as a goal. I teach Chinese Kung Fu. I wish to fight 10 men. It's not a matter of northern or southern style. The problem is you. The world isn't fair, but moral standards apply to us all. The ruler isn't always a superior person, and those ruled aren't always inferior. The world doesn't belong to the rich or even the powerful, but to those of pure heart. Nothing is more important than being around your loved ones. Chinese martial arts are Confucian in spirit. The virtue of martial arts is benevolence. Self-confidence is the most important thing, no matter where you are. Use your martial skill for the good of humanity. Simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication. If size mattered, the elephant would be the king of the jungle. Help the weak and vulnerable. Use your martial arts skills for the good of humanity.